first pictured, physics teacher Eleanor Wilson who had sex with pupil in plain toilet. This is the face of a physics teacher who had sex with a student in a plain toilet during a school trip. Eleanor Wilson, 28, who worked at a school in Bristol, engaged in drunken sexual activity with the pupil while returning home from a school trip to visit the Large Hadron Collider Geneva in 2015. Miss Wilson, who had trained as a Royal Navy reservist, engaged in oral sex with the pupil in the toilet cubicle and then had full sex with him, a disciplinary panel found. Giving evidence, the unnamed pupil told the hearing the Ms. Wilson was intoxicated during the encounter and admitted drinking five miniature bottles of wine himself on the flight. Their relationship continued for several months and they communicated by text message and met outside school, with pupil A, who Ms. Wilson had worked with since 2013, thinking he loved her. The tryst only came to light when another student heard about it and threatened to tell the school unless Ms. Wilson engaged in sexual activity with him. She was found guilty of unacceptable professional conduct and conduct that may bring the profession into disrepute by a National College for Teaching and Leadership panel who found she had also tried to cover up the relationship. Ms. Wilson was struck off following the hearing. During the flight home from the trip, Pupola gave evidence that he and Miss Wilson were flirting at the back of the plane, whilst looking after another pupil who was unwell, the panel said in its findings. Pupola gave evidence that Miss Wilson was intoxicated and that he had himself drunk approximately five miniature bottles of wine on the flight. Pupola gave evidence that he and Miss Wilson entered the toilet kissed and had oral sex and intercourse without using protection. Miss Wilson denied this allegation in its entirety, as evidence within the notes of the school's investigation. In its conclusions, the panel found said it was satisfied that the conduct of Miss Wilson fell significantly short of the standards expected of the profession. The panel did not consider that Miss Wilson demonstrated insight into the consequences of her actions. Whilst she did express remorse as to the impact of her actions on Pupila and his family, Miss Wilson demonstrated herself to be more concerned with the impact of her dismissal from the school on her own career and personal life. An NSPCC spokesman said, as a teacher, Wilson was trusted by parents, her school and the local community to prioritize pupils' welfare and well-being. But instead she abused this trust for her own sexual gratification. Teachers have a key role in safeguarding, but this hearing has highlighted significant shortcomings in Wilson's approach to this over an extended period of time. Her behavior fell a long way short of expectations, and it is right that she has faced the consequences.